governmental powers. It's an abuse of power. They use that to punish or disadvantage his political opponent. But President Biden is doing that every day. They've denied me Secret Service. But President Biden, I'm the, I'm the first candidate. My father was killed. When my father was killed, Secret Service became available to political candidates prior to the convention. 33 political candidates have been given that prior to the 100-day cutoff, 120-day cutoff, and most of them with polling number a tiny fraction of what I have. So President Biden, I am the first candidate since 1968 to request Secret Service protection in which it's been denied. And that is a way of using the federal, of weaponizing the federal agencies to punish a political opponent. I. You know, I think President Trump was right. I'm not a fan of President Trump. I'm running against him. I think he was a bad president. But he's right that it's, it's shocking that 51 CIA agents signed this document saying that the Hunter Biden laptop was a Russian hoax when, when, and they were accusing the Russians of tampering with our election. It was actually the CIA tampering with the election. I want to say this, too. President Biden is now deployed, you know, he's got $3 billion from big corporations in this country. He's using that corporate money to sue me and virtually every state to keep me off the ballot. That's not democratic. We all, you know, President Biden, a couple of days ago, let me just finish this, President Biden was criticizing and ridiculing Vladimir Putin for getting 88% of the vote in Russia. Kennedy, the way, the way, let me just finish this point. The way that uh, that Putin got 88% of the vote was by censoring his opponents on state-owned television, all the na national TV networks, and by making sure they didn't get on the ballot. We should not be doing that here in this country. We should be an example of something better. <laughs> I should also add something we are doing that I don't think we should be doing. We said the rules would be the same for you as for them. I've been asking my ear to give you more time, but I don't think that's right, so I'm going to stop doing that. Back to <laughs> CNN. President Biden, you have said, quote, Donald Trump and his MAGA Republicans are determined to destroy American democracy. Do you believe that the tens of millions of Americans who are likely to vote for President Trump will be voting against American democracy? The more they know about what he's done, yes. The more they know about what he's done. And there's a lot more coming. He's got a lot of cases down the road coming around. He's got, he's got a whole range of issues he has to face. I don't know what the juries will do, but I do, I do know he has a real problem. And so the fact that, could you ever think you hear any president say that I'm going to seek retribution? Did you ever hear any president say that I thought Hitler had some good ideas? What got me involved to run the first place after my son had died, I decided in Iraq, because of Iraq, I said I wasn't going to run again until I saw what happened in Charlottesville, Virginia. People coming out of the woods carrying swastikas on torches, torches, and, and singing the same anti-Semitic bile they sang when back in Germany. And, what the, and the young woman got killed. I spoke to the mother, and she, they asked him, they said, what, what, what do you think of those people? The people who, the ones who got killed, the one who tried to stop it, and the ones he said, I think they're fine people on both sides.